welcome you all guys in our new lecture which is based on exponential operator so what is exponential operator in this lecture we are going to tell you about that now if you guys have no the any value you can take assume that 2 so what is the power of 2 means uh, i am saying you that 2 per power 2 is what 4 so 2 per power 3 is what 8 so in javascript how we write 2 per power 2 is our exponential operator so first of all you have to know about that if you are going to write here uh, in simple word i can say you that 2 what is power of 2 you can say that 2 per power 2 so what is power 2 per power 2 you guys have already know that what is 2 per power 2 2 per power 2 is 4 and if instead of 2 per power 2 if we write that 2 per power 3 this will give you the output as 8 so how can you write 2 per power 2 2 per power 3 2 per power 9 yeah uh, uh, you can also write 2 3 per power 3 so this is our exponential operator so in javascript uh, what you have uh, learned in your um, mathematics classes in 6 7 8 or i don't know in which classes so instead of power in exponential operator what we are going to use here so in javascript we use instead of power we can use double multi multiplication operator so you guys here see that so i have used double power means double star this will give you the power of two okay this will give you the power of three also if now in console area we are going to write here we are going to write here two multiplication of three this will give you the output of eight so here you can see that I have used two star. Now here you can see that I have used two star instead of power. Here yeah, how we write in mathematics mathematics power. You can see here that in mathematics we are using power as you see yeah this we are using this. So in most of the language this will work, but in this language in JavaScript we use two double star of two this will give you four so now in console area we are going to take some examples you can see here two star star two this will give you four so now if you are going to write three power three you can see here that we have 27 result how this works three per power three three per power three gives you 27 so 2 per power 2 gives you 4, 2 per power 3 gives you 8. Now, if you are going to write it, 7 per power 7, this will give you this. If you are going to write here, 7 per power 2, this will give you 49. So here you can see that how our exponential work in our JavaScript. now our next thing is what how we write exponential operator in javascript now you can write here console.log and we are going to use 2 for power 3 now you guys uh, take this double star as power 2 per power 3 gives you output here now you can see here 2 per power 3 is 8 if we, we are going to write this here and if you are using 2 per power 4 this will give you the output 16 you can see here that 2 per power 4 is 16 and 2 per power 3 is 8 what we uh, you can see that into number line there is also a print statement there in three in line number three this uh, there is also a printing statement so this statement saying that 2 per power 3 is what 8 2 per power 4 is what 60 so from this method you can use this now if you are going to write here see 2 per power 1 by 2 you can see now what will be the output 
you can assume 2 per power 1 by 2 means 2 per power 0 0.5 now uh, this is very good idea you can see here 2 per power 1 by 2 can you say that what is this 2 per power 1 by 2 is what if you guys know about 2 per power 2 is what 4 if you are right here 2 per power 2 by 1 what is this uh, in mathematics you have already know that what is 2 per power 2 by 1 so this is this 2 per power 2 and 1 this is our mathematical operator this say, say you that so this is what 4 and this is 1 here now if you are right here 2 so what will be the output A square root of 4 is what 2 now this will give you the output of this now What is the power of 2 per power 2, 1 by 2? Here, if you are going to write 2 per power 0 0.5, this will give you the output 1.414. Uh, uh, guys, uh, now you can see here, what will be the output 2 per power? This one will rest here and this 2 is going to here. So 2 per power 1 by 2 is square root of 2. So square root of 2, you know that 1.414. Yeah. So now, now if we are going to solve some problem, calculate the square root of 16. So how you are going to solve this? How you are going to solve this question? So now, what is the square root of 16? You uh, using uh, you can also write here using exponential operator. Now how you are going to solve this? First of all, we have assigned a variable. Let x is 16 because we have to solve here that what calculate the square root of 16. Not here, I am going to say that square of 16. I am not going to say here what is the square of 16. So you know that what is the square root of 16? What is here square? Square means I have already tell you this time that square root of 16. Here, square root of 16 is this. Now here you can see. If you are, uh, say, uh, we are saying here cube, cubic root of 16, then there will be 3. But here I am saying that calculate the square root of 16. Now how you are going to solve all this. Now, if you know what is exponential operator, how we write square root of 16 is, we are going to solve here. Console dot log now we are using sixteen star star means power of zero point five. You can see my output now if you are going to comment out all this. Now if you are going to see here the output is four. Why? If you know this time I have write 2 per power 1 by 2 is square root of 2. We are right this is square root of 2. Here you can see that we are you right here 2. Uh, this one is 1 here and 2 is here. No, a square root of 2 is this. So how we write 16 as a square root? If you are going to write here 16, this. Here we write 2. Now this will become what? 
16 per power 1 by 2. 16 per power 1 by 2. How we write 1 by 2 is? Can 0 0.5 is 1 by 2? Yes. If you divide 1 by 2, this will give you the output as 0 0.5. You can see here also if you divide 2 divided by, uh, sorry, 1 divided by 2, this will give you output 0 0.5. We can write 1 by 2 as 0 0.5. Now here you can see that 16 per power 0, 0 0.5 is give you the output as 4. Here you can see. So uh, in this topic, I want to cover exponential operator in this lecture. So uh we have completed our mathematical operator in javascript uh, so from next lecture we are going to use how to concatenate number and string string with number so next topic is our concatenation so stay tuned here please like share and subscribe our channel in this channel you are going to learn all the way how to uh clear our concept in javascript how to solve dsa type of problems in javascript how and uh, next lecture will be also as loop arrays recursion trees linked list object two dimensional array and object method also please like share and subscribe our channel thank you